<sighs> okay. Seven times the charm, right? Uh, okay. Division 2. It's getting gear 2.0 soon, and we're all very excited for it. However, I can't help but feel like the devs are missing some important thing about why their game is in such a bad state. And I feel like the community at this point is just longing for any change that they will take whatever they can get because the game is just so stale and broken. I mean, you got things like hybrid builds with 70% plus weapon damage, unstoppable force being the thing, Bloodsucker un and Unbreakable being pretty easy to get, alongside some crazy weapon damage, unstoppable force, and too many passive talents that are totally useless that no one uses. This goes for both weapon damage. Ah. Uh, uh, you know, just, just, just fuck it. All right. I've been, I have this massive script. I've been like trying for the past few days to get it recording. I get through it perfectly once, but the audio fucks up. So I'm just going to fucking bullet point this because I'm tired of it. Right. I'm just going to post the PDF on the script. Of the script like below so if you want to read it you can read it all right point is th there's just too much weapon damage right we all know this like you can get insane weapon damage while also getting a ton of survivability this is a real issue and the reason this happens is because the only good skills are weapon damage skills you know there's no real i think the only meta skill that doesn't directly give you damage is unbreakable and that's because it gives you all of your armor back and so you just stack armor and it allows you to just face tank everything in the game like why wouldn't you take that because it doesn't really matter how much damage you're doing if you can outlive them and kill them right at that point you're just having a war of attrition a war of attrition right and like i don't know if any of you saw that uh world's first hardcore raid that was posted on the subreddit a few weeks back i mean literally they were all running unbreakable with like 70 plus weapon damage that was fucking insane like the fact that a whole eight man group is running the same build for the same survivability says the game has a problem with burst dps for both the players and the enemies like it's a legitimate issue and the devs need to fucking address it and like from everything they've shown us with the title update whatever the fuck who cares at this point loot 2.0 they're not changing it they're just changing the gear lowering the amount of damage we can do but the problem with that is they've already nerfed player damage like what four or five fucking times already in the past year it hasn't worked they need to stop they need to go completely back to the fucking drawing board and just go oh hey we really need to completely redo how our game works like currently i don't i have a fucking glass cannon build right it when it when everything's going perfectly i'm getting like 100k damage on like an elite no not just an elite a named enemy on fucking uh what, what's the highest heroic right i'm getting like 100k plus damage on each bullet and it's it it's insane right but the trade-off is i'm a glass cannon but like a fucking a goddamn red enemy looks at me funny and I'm on the floor like what the fuck <laughs> like that that just should not be happening like that like I understand I'm a glass cannon but like I shouldn't be losing my whole armor like I got like I'm running like 180k armor I shouldn't be losing almost all my armor in like one magazine from an enemy that just should not be happening and it's why we have so many people running survivability builds right like the only time you don't see that is when they're running berserk but even on berserk builds they're running they don't really care about the armor because they're stacking health right and because you know the berserk is so high damage it's pretty much insane survivability as long as they're not being held by something um and it's just fucking crazy so like nerfing player damage that's not going to do anything because they've been trying it hasn't worked I, I would hope, you know, the sixth time they do this shit, they fucking, like, you know, understand maybe it's not player damage. That's the fucking issue. But, like, they don't seem to get it. The community seems to, like, be indifferent or just not care anymore about them trying to nerf the damage. It's insane. 
uh, fuck, what, what, what's in the script next? Uh, weapon talents, right? Weapon talents, gear talents, right? Like, there's too many useless talents. And while I understand not every talent is going to be useful, there are too many useless talents in this game. Who the fuck is going to run kneecapper? Honestly, whoever can fucking tell me what kneecapper does in the comment section, I will tart the comment because like nobody, like it's supposed to be like if you want to run a stats effect build, but like you can't run a stats effect build without wicked. Like <laughs> wicked is just a free 15 to like 20% damage buff, you know, if for any stats effect, right? So it's like fire, blindness, bleed, whatever. Just here have free damage. Shit's insane. The fact that it's a glove talent and not like a gun talent like vindictive or measured or anything else is fucking crazy. Like I'd rather have wicked on my guns than like incinerate or blindness or sadist because you know it, it's like it's pretty much all those skills, but like I don't get a free pock with my gun. I still have to use skills or grenades. And then maybe kneecapper would be actually useful because like if I can run a wicked on my guns and get that weapon damage and I can't proc it outside of skills, right? But I'm not a skill build. I'm more of a weapon build that also does status damage, right? Kneecapper is going to be the shit because like I can shoot them in the knees. I don't got to aim, you know, being on console will finally be a fucking advantage when I'm shooting people. You know, it, it would make sense. But, like, there's too many talents in the wrong spots. And they just kill everything else. And, like, I, like Composure and Spark were just added, like, three months ago. They're meta skills. Everybody runs them. I think I maybe have, like, three or four tech builds that, no, wait. Yeah, out of my, like, eight builds, I think I have, like, four builds that don't run Composure because in Spark. Because their tech builds are like their hybrid tech damage builds, and I needed the knee pads to like help refresh my kill skills or whatever, right? And it's like it's too much. It, it's it's too good to pass up, right? Because it's like sparks free fifty percent of damage if a skill hits, or if you shoot an enemy's little weak point. And of course, we all shoot the weak points because it's a free status effect, which procs Wicked, which procs Sparks. And if we're in cover, because it's a third-person shooter, cover third-person cover-based shooter, we get like, what, 15, 15, 10, 40% damage. And we haven't even talked about a chest piece that's either going to be Vigilance or Unstoppable Force because... Unbreakable is more for utility, and the only time you really need that kind of utility fairly often is in the raid. And it's like, you might run Berserk, but like, if you're running Berserk, you're running Clutch, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't be running Kneecapper anyway, right? And it's like, you have stuff like Wizzically and Stop, Drop, and Roll that lets you get rid of the stats effect, but then on the mask, you can get 100% hazard protection. Right, it's like uh, what is it? It's like perfect hazard, perfectly insulated, gives you fifty percent, and then you can get like another fifty percent on the mask, and it's like it, it basically nullifies those skills right there. Right, it's too much overlap in skills that are effect in like even before you could do this, they were effectively worthless. Right, because like nobody ran that shit. Right, <laughs> like. Who the fuck was like, yeah, dude, I made sure Wizzically was like, you know, on my gun because I can't have it. Like, the meta stuff is like fucking Allegro or Extra or Stability, right? For like the second slot passive on your gun and then like the third, nobody gives a shit, right? Like, personally, I think in Rhythm, even after they nerfed it into the ground, it's still fucking busted in one of the best passives in the game, flat out. If you're running a skill build and you don't have it, and you're not running Liberty to like get more bullets to like shoot or whatever, you need to run your secondary, make sure your pistol or whatever shotgun, whatever in like your holster 
make sure it has in rhythm, right? Because it procs so often because it proc every chance you every time you kill someone, it has a chance to proc. And before they nerfed it, I ran two weapons with that, like my secondary AR and my pistol and that shit was so busted and it was so good because not as a skill build I could just keep on constantly throwing my shit out because it was just like it was amazing and I loved it and it deserved the nerf it got so much and it's like you know we've been talking about damage for the last I don't know what five minutes and you're probably like when are you going to talk about the utility skills demon kid well there are no utility skills the one they had was safeguard was so good at launch, I remember saying to my friend, who me and him were playing, I'm like, yo, they're going to nerf this. It's too fucking good. Because it was like one kill. It was like you only had, you had to have less than, you had to four or less reds. And then you one kill. And you get 150% bonus healing for 30 seconds with no cooldown. And so it kept constantly refreshing. And so pretty much you'd run safeguard patients and you could pretty much do anything because armor kits were fucking worthless and then they nerfed it and then they nerfed it again and then they nerfed it a third time and now it's useless like you know I, I tried to run it on a tanky defensive set with a unbreakable both guns have preservation with safeguard and patience right the problem is it's like it has a 20 second cooldown and like it's only up for 5 seconds so like you know when it was on, I'd get a lot of healing, but like the thing was, it needs its uptime to be like 10 seconds, or it's not even worth it. And it's like, you know, I was trying to run a self-healing build that really had no damage, like, right? I was running damage to elite, weapon damage on my chest, and then weapon damage on my backpack. And then, you know, uh, I was running, I think I was trying to run Fenris for the 10 AR damage uh, from the set bonus, and then trying to get SMG put SMG damage on it so I could get like 10% weapon damage for both my guns and she's around, you know, the limitation, right? But like, no. Even with all that, it still didn't work. And so like, I'm trying, like this this build I have here is like one I made, I just made today, last time before I logged off. It's a pyromaniac build, but like, you know, th that tank build is just kind of dead in the water because I had to get rid of I had to get rid of my backpack right? and so now I just put like nine reds on it to run spark you know I'm trying to figure out okay I think I swear no I got rid of the chest piece so I'm not running on stop I'm not running a break ball I'm running on stoppable force and now I'm trying to get spark um I have spark active and like I can't find a good knee pads to like fit with the build I need a new holster for it so I can get the stats that I want but like it's not even worth it because like tanking is worthless, right? Rolls are just, they don't exist in, in this game. It's like the devs kind of had a concept of rolls when they were making it, it but like, you know, we legitimately need our uh, specialist skills to be our third skill, you know? Like, it, I don't care if it breaks the game, but like the specialist skills kind of define our specialist role, right? Because, like, you know, the survivalist is, like, the healer and the support being able to proc, you know, uh, status effect at a really good one with fire. And, like, you know, the whole team gets a damage bonus when an enemy is, like, under status effect, right? And so it's, like, the, the med kits heal and you got the mender mine or whatever. You know, it, that is, it's supposed to be, like, you know, support. It's, like, the support one, right? But, like, you know, when I play it, I just... I'm status effect build, right? I'm doing status so, you know, I can get damage, but then my team can get damage. But I'm not really healing because I don't have a third skill slot to run Seeker Mine. And if, like, I ran Seeker Mine, like, I, I would run Seeker Mine, right? I, I put the mods on it, you know, I'd let it heal people up. Like, I fuck, Seeker Mine is, like, my favorite ability, and I not want nothing more to, to just want to just run three Seeker Mines. But I can't. I'll settle for two. But, like, they need to remove them from the uh, skill tier thing they have and like make them just tied to the specialist as our like ultimate ability. And it's like, I got, I went off on a little bit on tangent, but like, you know, the, all the specialist skills are what they're supposed to be doing. Like, you know, uh, gunner, 
with like the pulse they have allows them to peel for the healers and the DPS, you know, the squishies on the team because they instantly confuse the enemies. They stop what they're doing. It has a wide cone and they can focus it to hit a go a long way. You know, it, it allows them to kind of tank. Uh, demo and what what is the sharp shooter? You know, they run DPS, you know. Um, demo has the little cannon so they can spawn nuke controlled ads, recon drone for the sharp shooter so they can, you know, let you know where the ads are coming from. You know, give you a little boost of damage if you're running spider for whatever reason. You know, it's like they kinda they're the DPS. And you know, technician is mostly being run now as a well DPS but it can also support kind of you know with the artifice artificer it has you know it can really support because like it pretty much busts up everybody's skill that's deployed and you know since like two no four out of the unique skills are deployables and like you know the turn is pretty popular like flame and regular are pretty popular um well done. the hive is popular you know there's a lot of popular deployable skills that will really benefit from the arse fighter hive you know even the shield right so if your tank you know is actually trying to run a shield build they'll benefit if you toss the artificer under them and you know if the survivors can throw their mender on them it's fantastic you know everybody wins you know we're, we're working as a cohesive team as a unit but the reality of the situation is doing that outside of a pre-made format, it's just kind of worthless. Like, I ran some missions with the dude yesterday, and, like, we just were just burst DPS. Well, okay, mostly me. <laughs> but we were bur burst DPSing just through the missions, and it was just kind of like he had the healer mind. But, like, the healer mind spent more time on him because, you know, I was so far away. But by the time he got to me, I had either healed or, like, the fight was over. Because we were just so spread out, like we were, we were kind of working as we were working as a unit, but we weren't cohesive, right? We were just kind of doing our own thing and just nuking the enemies as fast as we could, and that's pretty much what the game is. Because it's just a DPS check, right? Damage is king. It's been that way since launch. The devs, when they first the game first came out, there like seals are just supposed to, you know support su supplement your weapon and your weapon builds because it's like uh they didn't want skills to be like super powerful like they were in division one which is dumb as shit and it's like you still have remnants in that because like half the skills take forever to fucking throw out that nobody uses them or when you, you do throw them out they're just kind of not worth it like i mean I'm running a power build and I kind of want to not run the flame turret because it's fucking awful because it's like it's the cone in which it will do damage is so laughably small. I do not know how they thought it was a good idea. All right. So I want to worst run air burster, but like, I don't even know if it's worth me going to unlock it because the fire probably doesn't last that long. Like it, like just skills are just aren't worth it they're too clunky and they're redoing them with skill with loot 2.0 but like you know their actual function is like half the problem half the problem is just getting them to deploy properly like the fact that my minds my seeker minds can just blow me the fuck up is a dumb thing i don't know why that's a thing uh, like i made the mistake of uh trying to get my seeker mind to lock on to an enemy but it was a rush air and then I accidentally locked onto them instead, and they came towards me, and it blew up, and it killed them, and it killed me, and it was just frustrating, because it's kind of like, why is this a thing, right? Why? And it's like, you know, they, they just, like, they want this game to be some super deep RPG experience now, but, like, the AI just does not benefit that the game in any way shape or form in that way right like first of all the enemies just kind of rush at you like yeah they'll sometimes flank you if there's no space but like the problem is 
doesn't really matter what they're trying to do because DPS is king, so everybody's running a DPS build, so you can pretty much throw out your cluster mines and nuke almost everything. Or like, and like they'll come back in like 10 seconds to bail you out again. Like even if you're not, just knowing you can throw your clusters and then hit and hit the main enemies and stagger them and then kill the flankers, it just kind of defeats the purpose, right? Like they need to work more as a unit, right? Like the flamethrowers, the shotgunners, the foam guys, the druggies, and then who do the black tusk have? I don't really care. I hate the black tusk. They sh they need to go die in a fire. They need to. They need to be. Those are like the only people that should be the flankers and trying to flush you out of cover. Everybody else should be trying to suppress you and get you to stay down so the flankers can fuck you up and then they can kill you. But I don't think they're going to change it. Why would they change it? You know, they're happy with AI. I don't. I don't really know what they expect. I don't really know how they expect somebody to tank when like they can't pull aggro but you know tanking is just going to be damage mitigation so you know you know what that means right it's support 2.0 fucking garbage right just ugh. and then like the first year of content was fucking garbage like fucking three missions no it was like what was it, it was like two strongholds four missions and then eight little side missions right you know, fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's been so long since I've done the Black Tusk one, I can't even remember what the fuck the Stronghold's name is. Because it's locked every week. And every week, I'm not doing four missions to fucking unlock it. So I don't give a shit at this point anymore. Like, it's fucking annoying. Stop it. Anyway. It's alright. It, it brought the Nemesis, and that's like one of my favorite exotics. So it's pretty cool. Camp White Oak, very, very gorgeous to look at, but boring to play. Drags on a little bit long, but like, whatever, it was the first one. Kinley College needs to be the leader from the game. Whoever made it, I appreciate you, bro. You, I think your concept was, it was a good idea. Badly executed, not fun at all. I hate it, like three hours it took me to complete it so I could get the diamond back. I w I'm missing like two pieces of uh, intel, but I absolutely refuse to go back because it was just that unfun. Um, Manning National Zoo was made for a four man, trying to solo it made me want to fucking throw my PS4 out the window because fuck that shit. It was literally made for a four stack in a dying game where I can, like, I have on call, right? And I would get one on call call every, like, half an hour, and it's for free roam. And it's like, you know, you join, you res the person, and then you get kicked, right? Because they're not calling you because they need help. They're calling because they just want to res, because they don't want to have to come back and, you know, spawn again, right? <laughs> like, that's why they're calling for help, you know? It's rare when I get somebody who does want to do a mission... But then it's like we do the one mission and then maybe they do another one, but now they want to go and test their build and it's just kind of like, <sighs> all right, I'll fuck off now, right? Like that, that's just, <sighs> but th that's the community, not the game, right? And so it's like, then we got like those eight side missions, which I quite frankly like them. But, like, I don't like the fact that I can only play them once every three days. So, essentially, I've only done all of them once, gotten the backpack trophy, and never done them again. I would absolutely love to farm them. But for some reason, some asshole was like, yeah, they paid money for them, so just lock them out. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, why is that a thing? Who thought that was a good idea? Why are you going to lock paying customers out of content they fucking paid for? I don't fucking know. And now, like, we're going to talk about monetization, right? The loot caches, they're okay. The event caches, too much XP to really, how do I say this? Get a cache, it was like, what, five levels? And it's like, what, 250, 250K, 
XP for one level at like level 30, right? And so it's like you had to earn like a few million XP to get a cash, and it was kind of fucking insane, right? Like you'd have to pretty much be a raider who only runs heroics, you know, to really constantly get every, get everything for free in the loot cash. Mm -hmm. That's fine, that's whatever. But they're toning it down to making it three. Super fair. I'm excited for this change. Um, kind of happy with it. I do hate how like we can now put weapon camos on our signature weapons, but only if we buy them from the store. We can't use any of the other camos because fuck us, give Ubisoft money. Speaking of giving Ubisoft money, Battle Pass. I know we're getting one. It's February 8th. I know they haven't announced it by now. But I guarantee in the next three months, we're going to get a fucking Battle Pass. Uh, that shitty Ghost Recon game has one. Like, it doesn't have an official one, but, like, there's a Battle Pass in-game that you level up that gives you gear. And I fucking hate it because it had the white tank top locked behind it. The Literally the only clothing item I wore in Outland Wildlands fucking locked to me for arbitrary reasons. And then I just ended up deleting the game because it was so fucking garbage. It fucking... For Honor has one. That battle pass is hot shit because, like, they couldn't put executions in it except because, you know, then people will be mad because they're locked out of content. So the battle pass is, like, super garbage and, like, executions are super flashy. And if you like mysti mystical stuff like I do, you know, some of them are kind of cool, but, like, I don't know if the Shindal is really cool. And it seems like it's better for me to just, you know, uh, I think, what is it? I need to hit, like, 70k steel i'm at like 25k and i'll just buy like 60 ranks and just level up that way because that seems faster than like actually playing the fucking game to level it up it's like two hours a day for like three months that and it doesn't seem like a lot but like for honor is fucking frustrating to play if you don't believe me play it yourself and if you haven't uninstalled it after the first month you are a better person than i so, Rainbow Six Siege also has one. Like, I, I don't know much about it, but, like, because I don't play it, or, like, they're getting one. I don't know. I don't really care. Siege is cool. I just want to play my waifus. But, like, I can't, because my waifus are all meta, and so I never get to play them. But that's kind of cool anyway. I still enjoy the game, because it has really good shooting. <sighs> so, pretty much just look forward to the battle pass you know like that that shit's coming look i you're probably thinking oh no it's not gonna come but like i guarantee you it's coming right like it, you might think it's not coming but it's coming and you will love it or you will hate it because it's going to have all the cool tactical shit that everybody wants because if it's a tom clancy game we have to play toy soldiers yeah right it's gonna have all that shit it's gonna have all the cool sit camos that you like gonna have everything you've ever wanted in this game locked in there because how else are they gonna get you to pay money in this game right like how many of you watching have like you know actually paid money for any of the cosmetics right like i'm going to bet like you know it's less than like one percent of the people watching this video right like that shit just not worth it and so, you know, with the last one, people were like, oh, this is kind of good. This is more stuff than I want, you know, da da da, da. So, of course, they're just going to try and get you to, like, hand over 10 bucks, and then you might not even get the shit you want because, you know, you have a life outside of this fucking video game. Right? Like, just fuck. Right? But, you know, I sound irritated. I am, because I've been trying to fucking read from this goddamn script for, like, three fucking days. I fuck up all the time on it. And then... Like, I can't even bitch to my SO about the game anymore, right? They're just fucking tired of it. They're like, stop playing the fucking game. But I'm like, I love it, right? It's like, you know, when they played League of Legends, they would bitch to me about the game a little bit, but I never told them to fuck off. Or it just, 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 I understand the frustrating. Like, I get it, right? Nobody wants to hear somebody repeat the same shit a bunch of times. You can tell they're clearly frustrated. And the simplest thing is just stop. But like, I love this game. I, I just want to talk to somebody about the issues I have with the game, but everybody's so hyped up for getting half of the stuff we wanted, you know, that they don't really want to talk about the bad shit. It's just kind of like, alright, well, maybe this video will, you know, bring people who are like, yeah, you know, 
I don't really think the update looks good and I'm kind of worried about it. And maybe you can explain to me why you think this update is good because so far everything just looks awful like you know outside of the uh what was it the uh attribute thing they showed where it shows you if it's a max roll or not that's really good the new uh recalibrate recalibration thing they have is really good outside of like those two things everything else looks like fucking hot garbage to me like i mean i want rework skills but like if you're going to just force me to play a skill build to like not have dog shit skills, you know, I, I think there's a real issue that we should talk about because like, you know, my skills should just be like made god tier if I'm a skill build, but like, you know, actually be functional or usable if I have no skill power because they're still a part of the fucking game, right? 